everyone, I'm Kiana. We have Benji and Emily, and we're sharing Fear Street's filming secrets with Cosmo UK. Man, I turn the around with the skeleton hand, yeah. Um, I feel like uh, getting into character for me was super easy. I feel like once I put my shoes on, I was already in character. Like, the shoes even just like brought me to a place of like the 90s and the nostalgia and just my character's vibe overall. And even when I tucked my shirt in, like little things like that made me feel more and more like Josh. Um, at first I was like having a walk. I wanted to walk a certain way, but I got rid of that because it just, it was just easy enough as it was. So, yeah. Um, I actually made a playlist of music that I thought that Cindy would like, but also that I like to kind of connect myself with her. So there was a lot of Joni Mitchell, there was some Queen, some Fleetwood, um, and there was, well, okay, I did try to put Grease on there because it was established in an earlier script that she loved Grease, but I cannot, I cannot do it. I had to, I like had it on there, I listened to maybe 30 seconds of it, and I said, too much, get it away. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that was probably my main way of sort of settling into character and like feeling very in the 70s. So actually, the, the scripts are not based on any specific Fear Street book. Instead, they're kind of centered around the shady side um, town and universe that R.L. Stein created through the books. So actually, I didn't read any of the Fear Street books prior to filming, just because our scripts are very specific, you know, and they're also like cohesive and they intertwine in such a special way that I wanted to just focus on just the scripts. But I did read the R.L. Stein Goosebumps books growing up. Yes, Goosebumps, yes. like, yeah. that was like that. I think we all like were like obsessed with Goosebumps. Mm -hmm. So we were sure. familiar with R.L. Stein, and I think the films kind of like do uh, his whole like, you know, creative style justice. So it was nice being familiar with his work in that way. Sorry, I'm back. Oh, Tonight is Sunnyvale versus Shadyside. Red versus blue, good versus evil. I remember Lee did give us like a, a playlist to listen to for the films so we could uh, get the vibe that she was going for while filming. And she did recommend us a few movies, uh, Goose, or uh, no, um, Goonies. Goonies and uh, Scream, we were recommended. And those two basically blended together, really like matched the vibe of Fear Street that she was going for. So we watched that. But before that, I watched like uh, Halloween, um, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, stuff like that. We actually started um, filming kind of, I guess, like a quarter of the way through the film, which is when we start getting very dirty, very bloody. And so it, the whole shoot began just kind of slowly every day. I was getting more fake dirt on me. I was getting more blood like flicked at my face and until like my clothing was all ratty and my shoes were ratty and my hair was like an absolute crazy mess. Um, so I can tell you that I went through a lot of soap mm -hmm. over those two months, um, but it was kind of fun. I mean, when do you get to do anything like that? Because you're sort of like, okay, there's, these are very heightened circumstances. How can I possibly feel like I'm really in it? And then yeah. you're covered in blood and you're like, oh, right, of course. Yeah. yeah. And it was funny, like some days after filming, we would go back to the hotel we were staying at and like, yes. you know, if it was a long night, we're just like, oh, I'm gonna take a shower back at the hotel. Yeah. So we would show up, yeah. you know, with like blood and they were oh, like, right. what is happening? Right. Yeah. Or like, or you would think that you would have every bit oh, yeah. of it off and then no. suddenly yeah. you're like looking and there's just blood spatter on your yeah. arm or like on your foot and you're like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I didn't How kill did anyone, I, miss that? I swear. Yeah. yeah. All good. <laughs> So we started with uh, the first film, 1994, and then we actually jumped to the third film and we shot the 1666, and then we shot 1978 last. Yeah. Yeah, yeah which was kind of nice, because like, it started with you guys and then we all came together, so we got to, I was kind of worried that I wasn't gonna be able to meet the 94 cast until 
much later. So it was really nice to get to meet you guys before we sort of went our separate ways. Yeah. Yeah. It, was, it was really, really nice to yeah. have that opportunity. Yeah. So yeah, if you even when you watch the films, you'll notice like little things are so uh, period specific. They were amazing. Mm -hmm. They had like the old Pop Tart boxes. Yeah, yeah, like, cereal like, boxes. Like, I know all the cereal yeah. boxes. I just want to like pause the movie yeah. and look <laughs> at all of them because they're just it's so cool to see it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I kept my shoes that Dina, my character, wears. They're Doc Martens. And so in the beginning of filming, I had to break them in. And then throughout the entire journey, they were like just gloves on my feet. So the wardrobe let me keep them, which is, I still wear them today. So I mm -hmm. think out of oh, anything, that's, awesome. that's the only thing I kept. But you know, they're very practical too. So it's kind yeah. of a win-win. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I wish I would have kept the jeans that I wore. They were just, they, they yeah, like Kiana said, her shoes fit like a glove. Those jeans just, they fit. And I was <laughs> rocking with them. I should have took them home. Gosh. Yeah, I should have. Oh my gosh. Here's the thing. I thought about taking a lot of things. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I thought about taking most of them. Yeah, I really everything. wanted to. But like little props, like there was the 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 book, N Nurse Mary's like oh, yeah, yeah. diary. I wanted to take that, but they're like, mm, we need, we actually need it. <laughs> and then like there's the hand bone, and I was like, mm, I probably can't take that. So, but I do. I feel like I did take something. I just don't remember what. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna. I'll have to go home and, and dig through my little like memento box and see if there's like something secret that's even a secret for me now. I guess. Probably. Probably. <laughs> Definitely, we had amazing stunt doubles and stunt mm -hmm. performers. For um, sure. But you know, with that being said, also I feel like we did do a lot of <laughs> yeah. physical yeah. work. Um, I feel like we did as much as we all could, could ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Out, like without it being unsafe. Right. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. yeah. There is a scene where I'm supposed to. I swing a shovel at one point at one of the bad guys, and because of how the cameras were set up, I had to get very, very close to um, the the stunt guy's face, Lloyd. And so it was really just like, it <laughs> took everything to not, I think I might have nicked him across the nose at one point, but that specifically was, was really fun to do. Yeah. <laughs> it was really fun. Yeah. Thanks for watching and let us know your comments below.